Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to have a session on my motorized bike. But first of all, I'll show you guys some of the things I've done to it since the last video. The first thing I did was weld the bolts to the disc brake. The nuts that were on there came loose and because I grinded them down so thin, I wasn't able to put new ones on. So I ended up just welding the bolt to the disc and that seemed to solve that problem. I tightened up the choke lever because when I was riding it before, it was like lifting up from the vibrations, but now that it's tightened up, it doesn't do that. Thanks to you guys, I got that sorted. I had a go at modifying the intake. It seemed pretty restrictive, so what I did was cut this area out of the intake so it breathes a bit better. I don't know if that will make a difference, but I'll definitely have to clean the filter more often now. And also, I modified the exhaust. First of all, I just took out the baffle. What I had to do though, I had to cut the muffler open and cut the baffle out of there because it was all welded in place. And then I just welded that bit back together. And I didn't bother putting the tip on at first. And it definitely made a difference and it was faster, but it was also like spitting oil and unburnt fuel and whatever all over the back end of the bike. So I decided to weld the tip back on, but the stock tip was really restrictive. So I cut that out and welded a fatter tip on there. So I don't know if that'll make a difference, but we'll soon find out. I also changed the back tire on the bike. I ended up tearing the sidewall on this one. I finished the break-in period, so now I'm running a 20 to one mix. You guys were suggesting stronger mixes than that, but I just thought I'd go with what the book said. A lot of you guys were wondering where I got the kit from and how much I paid for it. I just got it off eBay and it cost me 141 Australian dollars. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like there's gonna be a change of plans because my mate, Brad Matchley, the man himself, just showed up on his new pit bike. The second hand, brother. Second Goes hand. right, but she doesn't kick straight away. She's a bit, a bit. How you going, you know? <laughs> there you go. Right. So, we've got to go out the Salt Lakes. So there's some really fun tracks out there. gonna lead and I'll follow him.
that track so fun. Just got back from that little ride. Brad had to go home early, but I'm really happy with how my bike went. The only problems it has now is just the fuel tank leaking still. That's a bit annoying. And I didn't quite seal the exhaust fully when I welded it. I only did like a sketchy job, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out though. The back of the bike's not covered in all that oil and stuff. Oh yeah, and also sometimes the bike dies out for like a second or so and then it gets going again. It's kind of annoying because it always does it like when I'm in front of a jump or something. I'm going to get a few clips around here now. I'm going to try to do a decent wheelie.
try this medium driveway jump and then if that goes to plan I'll try the big one. This jump's pretty gnarly on a full suspension mountain bike, let alone a Kmart bike with a motor bolted to it. It ended up getting dark so fast yesterday, and as you could probably tell, my camera's not that good in low light. So I was going to get some more clips today, but I just got done editing all the stuff from yesterday and I realized how long the video is already gone for. So I decided I'm just going to wrap it up here because personally I don't like watching people's videos when they go for super long. I don't know about you guys. If you guys like the longer videos, I can sure do that. But I just like mixing it up a bit because my last video was so long. I'll definitely do a video of me just having a session here in the yard on the motorized bike in the future. And I'll actually send the big side of the driveway properly. I'd like to give Maverick Bikes a shout out for sending me some t-shirts and a whole heap of hats. They're the first company that's ever sent me anything and it means a lot to me so go check out their Instagram. I'll leave a link below or just search them up on Instagram. If you ever want to send me stuff my postal address is PO Box 189 SM South Mildura 3501 Victoria Australia. I'm thinking about doing like a post office box opening like series if enough people send me stuff. So yeah, I feel like that would be cool. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.